Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage. So, you guys read the title of the video correctly. So we had to trade our 2020 Super Duty and get a 2020 F-150. So, we'll go into the whole thing with the Super Duty here in a minute, what's going on and why we had to do all this. But first, let's go over the new truck, the F-150. So, here you guys go, here is our F-150. Um, it's an extended cab truck, which I think is pretty awesome. Ford is like the only manufacturer to still offer this in a full-size pickup, at least that I can remember, um, which is pretty awesome. But this is a bare-bones truck. It is an XL truck. I've only had it for the day, and eh, it's what you would expect out of a base model truck. Nothing super luxurious or anything like that. One interesting thing on my way to work this morning, I did notice that it has automatic high beams so when i would come up to a stoplight or somebody would be coming toward me i didn't even have to pull the lever even in a base model trim these fords come with the auto sensing headlights which is pretty awesome so looking at the exterior of the truck it's just your standard f-150 like i said nothing special and as you guys would have guessed it's just a courtesy vehicle so we'll get into what's going on with the Super Duty here in a second, but I just want to talk about the um, F-150 and my thoughts on it driving it for the day. And I was working, you know, all I did was go to work and come home. Um, but this being a base model, I think it's got a six cylinder in it. Um, we'll pop the hood, but for whatever it is, it is still pretty peppy. I was quite surprised. Um, it had a lot of get up and go for like a base model truck, something, Something I wasn't expecting, um, and there you go. So there's that little six cylinder, you see all that room in there. Um, I don't even know what engine size this is. Um, here we go. So it's a 3.3 liter um, six cylinder, but once again, still pretty peppy. I was, I was quite surprised by that. Um, the other thing I noticed about this truck being it is an extended cab, like I said, Ford's the only ones that offer this anymore. But with these extended cabs, when you open them up, look, the door goes completely 90 degrees to the truck. But wait, there's more. You can actually take the door and go all the way open, making loading this flat floor of this F-150 extremely easy. And that's something I noticed with my Super Duty, having a flat floor and not having that hump in there, it's something you don't realize until you actually start using the truck. That's pretty awesome and very convenient, but this makes putting stuff in the back of the truck awesome. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, just my thoughts on our little courtesy vehicle that we had for the day. Um, I actually have to go drop this off and pick up our 2020 Super Duty, so I'm gonna do that now, and I'll get back with you guys, and we'll go over what's going on with it and why we have a courtesy vehicle from the dealer. So as you guys can see, we have our 2020 Super Duty back in our possession. Um, everything went fine. So what was the issue? Why did we have a loaner car from the dealership? Well, we had our first issue with the truck. So I told you guys when we got the truck, I'd keep you abreast of any issues we had with it, any problems, anything like that. So our issue with the truck is actually Ford had a recall. So the recall um, was for the left-hand side high pressure fuel rail, which they replaced. So I got the recall about a month ago, maybe, and sold the paper. All right, I got hunting to do, other stuff. You know, I'm not worried about it. I'll get to it. Um, but then I came home from work the beginning of this week and I actually stopped to get my mail and the check engine light came on. A little wrench on the dash was on. Uh, what's this all about? Well, it said low power mode, this, that, and the other. This is, ooh, this isn't good. Um, so anyway, came back here to the house. Next morning came out, said, ah, screw it. Started the truck and check engine light was gone. So 
After that, I called the dealership to schedule the recall and tell them about the check engine light. My thinking, they're probably related um, because the little bit of research I did on the check engine light or the recall, I couldn't really find out what was wrong with it and why they were recalling it, but apparently it only is for the 2020s. The 2017, the 2019 6.7s aren't included. It's just the 2020 model. So anyway, we got, it, uh, got our service scheduled and taken care of today. The truck was there this morning. Um, I dropped it off last night and I think by 10 o'clock, 10 or 10.30 this morning, I had a message from the dealership saying that our 2020 Super Duty is ready to go and our high pressure fuel rail is replaced so like i said they replaced the left hand side high pressure fuel rail don't know why don't know what the re reason for the uh recall was um obviously that thing's prone to failure if it's happening already or you know anyway um that also they said they pulled the codes on the truck it did have a stored code and the code was for the fuel rail so i don't know if the rail's leaking if the um, maybe the relief valve is relieving uh, too much you know, pressure when it shouldn't. I don't know. I don't have any information. Quick Google search. Couldn't find anything. But we are back in working order. So our recall's done. The check engine light issue was part of that. And we are good to go. So other than that, on our 2020 Super D, really nothing else to report. So the truck so far, we have 5,700 miles on it. We've had it for four months. We got back in August. And everything has been wonderful. Everything has worked flawlessly. Um, the only complaints I have with the truck are actually with the um, infotainment system. And I don't even think it's a Ford issue or a Ford Sync issue. I think the problem is really, my problem is with just the Android Auto. I don't really care for the interface that much. And I think that's just an Android Auto issue, not a Ford issue. So anyway, that's why we had the F-150 for the day or not even 24 hours really so that's our update on the super duty i will try and keep you guys abreast anytime we have issues like this with the truck so we will finish this video off by finishing our little micro back half project on the truck i found my plates um i had them in the house for some reason but uh, i found my plates to finish boxing this off so we'll box this all off and then it will be ready for paint we can get our nitrous bottle back in get our um power and parachute cables back routed i'm not going to put the parachute back on because if we have any other work to do in here it's just easier to get in there without the parachute in the way so all right that's our super duty update let's get to working on the drag truck So our stubby rear end on the drag truck is officially done other than a coat of paint. So I got our plates all welded in here on both um, frame rails just to strengthen up, you know, back here behind our coilovers. Just make sure that's all good and tight. Um, I'm actually very happy with how this all turned out. I know in that first video when I started on the passenger side here, it was kind of hemming and hauling. But now that it's capped off on the, the rear and, you know, the frame up there, and I got everything kind of cleaned up, it does not look as bad as originally I thought. Um, very happy with the results. We cut like 20, well, it was like 19 pounds out of the truck. So that's good. We still have our parachute mount, all that stuff. We don't have to do any more fabrication back there. This job, like I said, other than a coat of paint and putting stuff back together is done. We're not gonna do that tonight. I don't have any spray paint, but, this job is one of our winter things that is officially off of our list. So we got our Ford back today, which was just out for you know a day. And we got our little stubby rear end thing here uh, finished and completed. So I'm gonna try and paint this uh, probably tomorrow or the next day, you know, as soon as I can get some spray paint, just because the last time when we were doing all this stuff back here with our four link, our rad, rad our, um, fuel tank, all that kind of stuff. I had to take everything back apart and just paint everything. And it was like a whole day thing. I'm gonna try and keep doing, as I do stuff, paint it 
Just that way, it's less work later. I mean, if things halfway apart as it is, there's no sense in trying to put stuff back on and just take it off again. So just trying to save myself a step. Uh, we'll turn the heater on here in the garage, spray paint that thing, and uh, you know we'll be good to go. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, like I said with the Ford earlier, I'm trying to keep you guys in the loop with any issues with it that arise or anything I find out about the truck. Um, just you know that way everybody knows what i know so far it's been a great truck um our trip to florida i was more than impressed with it I'm very happy with the thing so far and hopefully it continues that way for miles and miles and miles and years and years to come so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed please uh please like the video subscribe down below i'll catch you guys on the next one get out in your garage get the wrench on your truck 